we think that the, the microbiome is important because one of our central hypotheses is that there are there are changes or dysfunction in terms of the immune system in uh, in, in MECFS. Now, the microbiome is absolutely intimately tied to the immune system development. Uh, its education, its maintenance, and also when it goes, when it when it becomes dysfunctional. And so, by studying the immune system, we also have to study the microbiome because of these relationships. Our bodies are home to trillions of different microorganisms, uh, encompassing hundreds or thousands of different microbial species. Now, a lot of these uh, these microbes, depending on where you look in the body, can have different functions. So, the microbes in our gut not only educate our immune system, they help us digest food, they help make vitamins that we can't make ourselves, they even uh, metabolize different drugs that we take, things as common as Tylenol. Then the microbes of our, our, our mouth do different, have different functions in terms of breaking down different food sources. The microbes of our skin also have different functions in terms of, for example, educating the skin's immune system. So depending on where you look in the body, each of these microbes can have a different functions. Now, we know that the microbiome can interact with uh, what's called systemic immunity, the immune, uh, the immune system that kind of circulates all over our bodies. And this is one of the, the central hypotheses that we have in MECFS, that these interactions in the systemic as well as uh, local immunity can be dysfunctional based on microbial uh, changes or dysfunction in the microbiome in these patients as well. This actually struck really close to home, and this was relatively late in uh, my during my PhD thesis. So my advisor, Ron Davis at Stanford, his son uh, contracted at the time an, an unknown illness and uh, was really laid low. This was this guy who was vibrant, climbed all sorts of mountain peaks, photographer, and then he basically became bedbound. And it wasn't until it, it was actually a little bit after I left uh, left Stanford that um, that he was actually diagnosed with MECFS. And since then, uh, Ron was really, I think, very motivated to study MECFS from a uh, a mechanistic level. And actually, incidentally, you know, I would say you know five, six, seven years ago now, I analyzed some of um, his son's microbiome data to look for microbial associations uh, with MECFS. So you know, that was a, a long time. Little did I know that it would come full circle and now would be studying it in collaboration with, um, with Daria. One of the, the challenges that I see with MECFS research is really the, the really large range of different manifestations of the disease. And that's what makes it really hard to study from an immune perspective, from a microbiome perspective, um, you know, to really try to find the causes of, and, and in this case, it's most likely causes, not just a single cause of MECFS. And so, you know, that's why all these different approaches that we're taking in innovating in immunology, innovating in the microbiome, innovating in our ability to recover microbes from the, the microbiota of these patients, that's why these are all really important and then collecting that and, and combining that with all the clinical data with, uh, which is obtained from our collaborators, the so lifestyle data for these individuals, integrating these really rich but very diverse data types is one of the big challenges. And so Peter Robinson is, uh, is really, um, this is his forte in terms of integrating these, um, these, these different data types to find kind of what he calls the ontology of MECFS. What are real features that can be used to diagnose or have predictive capabilities for, uh, for predicting severity or onset of um, full-blown MECFS. I, I really think that we have a unique opportunity here to, to really become one of the leaders and hopefully inspire other researchers to, uh, to start uh, diving, and, diving in and applying their multidisciplinary expertises to further probe uh, MECFS.